Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's More Bang For Your Buck Circle Die Edition video. Today I'm going to make a birthday card for my husband. I'm whispering because he's working in the room next to me and the window's open so it's a secret. So anyway, my husband is a vinyl lover, a music lover, he's a musician. So I'm going to make a vinyl record themed birthday card for him. So first thing I'm going to do is take this piece of black cardstock and cover it in sticky back plastic or I guess is it called contact paper something like that I want to try not to get any creases in this so I'm going to use a ruler just to gently push this along like this to cover the whole piece. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. I'm going to burnish this all over to try and get it all stuck down nicely. It doesn't matter if there's a few imperfections in it. Some of them will come out during the die cutting process and others will be hidden. And now I'm going to create some records, some vinyl records. I'm not sure how many I'm going to need at this point. So I'm going to do a few so I've got four of these now. What I'm going to do next though is cut a hole using the smallest circle die that I've got roughly in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle because I'm going to cover this up with uh, the label and put a smaller hole in but I just want a hole in the middle so you can see through it when it's all put together. So now I've got a hole in the middle of all my records and I've got four little ones if I need them. But for the labels that go in the middle, I think I'm going to use stitched circle dies just so they've got a bit of texture to them. And I'm going to cut those out of smooth white cardstock. So now I've got my labels. Before I do anything else to them, I want to punch a hole roughly in the middle. So let's have a look. Let's use the grid on here. That should be the middle. To colour my little discs here, I'm going to use these warm colours. We've got Vintage Photo, Spice Marmalade, Scatter Straw, Dried Marigold. And these are inspired by one of his favourite albums. So I want to stamp happy birthday around the edge of my label and I've got a happy stamp here and a birthday stamp. I've cut the birthday stamp in two to make it easier to curve. I'm curving the happy and I'm just going to put my head right over to double check that it fits. Yeah, I think that works. So I'm going to get some black ink right like that. Now for Bert. That worked. Now for her day. Right, now I'm going to stick my uh, labels on. I'm going to use this tape runner because I think it's going to be my best bet for securing this paper to the top of the contact paper. I'm going to get that in the middle. My card is going to eventually be 5 by 7 inches, so I'm thinking something like that. This is a panel of smooth white cardstock that is 4 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarter inches, so it'll sit on that 5 by 7 card blank with a little border around the outside. And I think I'll pop this one up on foam tape. So that's stuck on there and I can now trim off the overhang. And these two I'm going to 
Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll go with those. I think that might be a better size. These two I'm going to put flat on. I decided to give this a black border around the outside, so I'm going to mat it with a bit of black cardstock. I think that will give it some impact and make it look polished and finished. I think these two labels need something stamping on them so I found some little stamps that I think will work I'm just going to add those straight on top I like that so I've got some stars and these are I think perfect for this now I've got a tiny little heart stamp here and I'm going to carefully stamp around my circle just to finish it off and fill it in and I don't know how I'm going to space them just yet so I'm going to start at the end add one in the middle and then I think just do that and then they will be spaced roughly and I think on this big one, I need a white inner circle. Just looks a bit bland. So I've got a whole reinforcer punch here, which doesn't seem to want to work today for some reason. Yeah, I think that works. I might have to do them on the other ones as well. So that's very clean, very simple, and I think it'll suit my husband's taste well. I'm going to add a few little nouveau drops. Just for a bit of extra something in the gaps. And that's it. That's this card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you another idea for something you can do with your circle dies. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe, ring the notification bell and I'll see you back here very soon for, I think, one more more bang for your buck circle die video.